a sweep before we came up and it was all flat. I have point two. You have a point two? Yeah. Point one. So point two? Point one. Huh, that was flat, they said before. Not zeros. Hmm. <clears throat> point one. You have a lovely house. My name is Rick. I'm Wendy. And we uh, come here in the spirit of trying to be able to communicate. We understand that you uh, have had guests in here from time to time that uh, have seen you, have heard you, have heard some kind of music through the house. Is there anybody here that likes to play music late at night? You could show us a sign of that. You could talk into this red light that's on my arm. Or wave your hands across these lights here in our hands. It's point two. He's bouncing from point one to point two. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's really nice to have this. The backyard fa faces a river. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm ready to move in. Are you ready to move in? I'm ready to move in. Uh, one thing about paranormal investigation, you get to go into some really nice places, yeah. really bad places. <coughs> There's no in betweens. That's true. Look, point four. Point four. Yeah. Point three. Point one. Really bad places. Could 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 you make it go go up again? Thank you. It's going up to a point two. Could you make it go up to a point three? How about a point three? Get real close and touch it. It's a so solid two that it goes back to one. Hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. What was I talking about? The made of spike. Really nice places or really bad places? Are you upset that we're here? Point one. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're upset, could could you could you make it go up to point point two? Now one flat. Point one. We won't be staying very long. <clears throat> we'll be leaving soon. We've come a long way. We'd really like to communicate with you tonight. I'm getting a little bit something here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah you are. Is that maybe the electricity in the lamp? It might be. But they said it was it was hot it was cold here. They said they, they did them all. Well, I don't know why that's hot now. Hmm. Let me bring this over here. Something electric that would spike hard in there. Yeah. The motion detector is in there. Kind of weird. Point three, two. Could you make it go up to a point four? If you were here, may make it go up to a point four. Come over here, close. It, it's a little game. I'll make it so you can make the pretty lights light up. Yeah, see, you can do that. <clears throat> point eight, five. Point five. Three. <laughs> it was up to point eight. I went up to point eight. For a second. Is that because I did that? No, I did it. See, I have. Oh, yeah. It's because uh, I did that. 
<clears throat> Debunk that. Okay. We're going to the other room. Sure. Let's see if they, we get any spikes like we did in that. We got a little bit of a jump in there. Yeah. Wait, one in the hall. Shadow sensor. It's going on. Well, it should. What happens is she puts the light on it and it'll, right. it should go off. There it goes. I have point two right here. Point two? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> point one. Zeros. I'm getting a look at this. flat before and now and now we're get, get, getting stuff so I don't know what that's about it's that's bedtime about. maybe they climbed into bed they said late, later at night it uh, they have more stuff it is late it's at it's after 12 yeah it's uh 12 40 <clears throat> Spikes a little bit up here. Hmm. You can communicate with us in any way, shape, or form. Do you like the way they fi they fixed up the house? They did a lovely job. I love the hardwood floors with the wide planks. Beautiful. Did you know the, the DuPonts? Were you friends with the DuPonts? You make the gunpowder, you know. They made out good dur during the war. Yeah. They sold from bo to both to both sides. I wonder how they did that. They, okay, this is going south. Yeah. This gunpowder is going south, and this gunpowder is going north. Weird times. I think they gave the more potent stuff to the side they were rooting for. I don't know. I don't think so. A lot of speculation there. Well, politics is politics has always been that way. You never know. They think things are bad now, but even in the old days, it was pretty bad. Oh yeah. Now I we mean, just know about it more. I mean, so worse. The worst thing could happen. Yeah. At least we don't have that going on. But the past could be the future with the lights on. That's true. <laughs> you never know. One thing about an old house like this, it, it, <clears throat> you know, you think about the people that lived here and you know, passed their time and um, raised their families, and, you know. Saw some people die, saw some people being born, Cel celebrations and deaths, and people pa passing things on. You know, it's all it's all here. Mm-hmm. In in these walls, and each house has a, diff a different sto story. And then if you get into the you know when they want to redo a house, they bring a all these artifacts from other homes and other places, you don't know where they've come from. Right. It, uh, it definitely makes an inter interesting life lifestyle. You know, the paranormal fields, if you do it right, it's a life, it's a lifestyle. It's yeah. not just a hobby. It, uh, it really is a life, life lifestyle. For sure.
It has definitely um, piqued my interest in history. Yeah. I don't know that <clears throat> I necessarily had much of one prior to doing this. Right. A little bit, but not too much. I think I thought of it as, you know, those people and felt no real connection to it. Right. And now, you know, I feel like I've met some of history yeah, and, yeah. and interacted with it for wow. sure. So yeah. I definitely appreciate history a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, because you know our past is is our past, and and if people have lived in our past, sometimes they do talk back to us. Right. And, um, sometimes they're historically correct. Yeah. And and tell us things that we didn't even know. So uh, that's what fascinates me is getting a, a cold fact from something that wasn't there that we didn't know and we got. Right. So, that, that kind of pulled me, me in when I, had, when I had that, for sure. Uh, we just concluded this investigation at the, man, the Manor House in Londonderry. Um, uh, fascinating place. Uh, some stories, not a lot. I will say this, it was kind of quiet tonight. It was. I mean, we don't know, you know, we have to review everything. Sure. I did have a camera where I saw something go by it, but it may have been an, an investigator. Uh, we were just start, starting to in, in investigate only okay. five minutes in, into it, so it could have been somebody just pa passing by. I don't know, uh, but I'll, but I'll re review that. But yeah, it's probably one, one, one of us, I think. Anyway, other than that, um, did anybody else get anything at all? We did get some, I will say this, we did, you guys were flat uh, upstairs, right, when you did yes. a sweep. Yeah. Well, we were just up there and it wasn't flat. We were getting point point threes. Oh, we had point two and three in the, the bedroom. Up yeah, there. that's what we had. Yeah, yeah. You did. Not the master bedroom, the other bedroom. No, we had one in the mat. In the no, mat. we had it in the um, the pink and green bed. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I mean, that's kind of weird that they came and went a little bit. Right. But it wasn't extreme. Or anything. No. no. So we'll have to review our tapes. We did have stationaries all over all over the place. <laughs> We have ones on, on our arms, too, and stuff, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we have, we have to review. This is our last case of the film season for two, 2014. It is. Um, we'd like to thank all the historical places that we did this year. Uh, some of them we'll come back to in the fall. Some of them we, we won't. Right. Um, but, um, you know, every house has a different feel. And every investigation is, di is different. Um, and every seasons of investigations are. Yes. Uh, some people come and go. Um, well, t t tonight we had two, two, two leave. Uh, Al Allison's side start started to hurt her oh, no. really bad. Mm -hmm. So they, they both left. So yeah. that usually doesn't happen. So I hope she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and they're supposed to be hitched soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. In the next spring. April. In April. the spring? Yeah. yeah. In, in, a in April, right? Yeah, right. next April. Okay. All right, well, congratulations to them. I guess we'll have to give them a gift or something or something. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Caleb and Allison. Yeah, there you go. All right. So um, th th thank you for uh, sharing our, our travels. Um, we pre appreciate it. Uh, again, uh, try to check us out in the fall. Uh, we do have some stuff going on. Um, that's, that's for sure. We are going to take a little break here for yeah. six or seven, eight weeks. Yep, till the end of August. And then we'll start back up again and have our fall deal going on. Um, living and going back into time like we do, we find different things. And each house has experienced different things throughout the years. And uh, sometimes the homes that we go into in historical places share those things. Yes. And they bring them back. Um, so that's what we're about. And true, truly, the past is just the future with the lights on. So on behalf of Delmar of Historic Haunts, Lab Group of Gettysburg Paranormal, good night. Good night.